So Chainsaw Man broke the internet way before the anime was even announced. I mean, the manga was absolutely huge. Copies were sold out. Denji Power and Makima have all been the most popular cosplays for the last two years or so. And when the anime finally landed, people went crazy for it. So today I'm going to take you through my top three expected anime adaptations that would be the next greatest hit and hit the heights of Chainsaw Man. Kaiju number 8 is a brilliant tale of an underdog character who's supposedly way past his best, wanting to fulfill his lifelong dream, but unfortunately stuck in a dead-end job. However, this guy doesn't have a normal job. No, his job is cleaning up the aftermath of humongous kaiju fights. Yes, that's right, kaijus. You know, like the huge monsters destroying whole cities, thinking they're the next Godzilla? Hmm, big monsters. Hmm, total destruction, I hear you say. Sounds almost like another hugely popular show we know. That's right, I'm telling you, Kaiju number 8 could be the next Attack on Titan. The absolute behemoth show that has had the world encapsulated for almost a decade now. Even better is the studio that is going to be animating Kaiju number 8 is the same studio that produced Attack on Titan production IG. If they can bring the same levels of enormity and weight to the Kaijus as they did the Titans, this show is going to visually blow us away with the scale of fights it can display. Absolutely hulking Kaijus fighting these minuscule humans. Without a doubt, Kaiju number 8 will have many of us for all. Hell's Paradise seems to have been kicking around for a while now, and is finally seeing an adaptation coming real soon. April of this year, in fact. Now, I've only just started getting into this series, even though I've seen it about on manga TikTok for what seems like an age now. When I tell you the fans of this series are vast and extremely passionate about this series, I mean it. And it's not hard to see why. This series is like if you took dark fantasy with the art of, I don't know, let's say Claymore and even Berserk at times, and smashed it with shonen aspects of the Edo period style Japan, and ninjas sort of samurai aspects from Demon Slayer. Another, might I add, hugely popular series with a worldwide fan base. It toes the line between shonen and seinen so damn well, and with the vast majority of anime enjoyers being people in their teens to their early 20s, this series is really hitting all the main target audiences. One minute the mood can be humorous and light-hearted just like any shonen series, but when the action hits I tell you it gets dark real quick. I'm talking decapitations, disgustingly horrifying, yet weirdly beautiful monstrosities. I mean for real, if any of you watched the new trailer for Silent Hill F and saw that weird lady infected with light flowers and stuff, that's what Hell's Paradise has in store for you. What makes me even more confident that this show will succeed is the fact that MAPPA will be overseeing the show's creation. You know, animators are the biggest shows of recent memory. I'm talking Chainsaw Man, Jujutsu Kaisen, Attack on Titan, Vinland Saga. They oversee all the big shows and they always have the most popular shows every year. My last suggestion is the newest series of The Bunch, and I'm sure you've already heard about it, and that is Dan Da Dan. What I find crazy about Dan Da Dan, apart from the absolute batshit insane story and insane scenarios that unfold, is that the manga currently only has two English press volumes out at the time of recording. And all I see on not only manga TikTok, but anime YouTube is Dan Da Dan. This series is already giving me the same feelings Chainsaw Man did when it was first serializing in the West. The main appeal to Western audiences for Dan Da Dan has to absolutely be the insane and stupidly funny story, which has all the right material to be an absolute mean machine. It has ghosts and aliens fighting between an unlikely pair, which is unfortunate for them because the thing they don't believe in is trying to either impregnate them or steal their schlongs. I mean it's just off the wall crazy, but it's the wacky story where you don't really know what's going to happen next that makes the series so enjoyable. Being the newest series means Dan Dan has no official anime announcement yet, however not if but when we do get one, because let's be honest with ourselves, this show is 100% getting an adaptation. I personally would love to see a company like Studio Bones of Mob Psycho 100 fame take on this project. I feel both shows have that sort of supernatural yet great humour and Bones' work on Mob would really help with a faithful adaptation of Dan the Dan. Anyway, that's my three suggestions for the next hit anime series. Let me know how I did and leave any other series you think would make the top spot down in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more anime and manga related content. Until next time.